Hello! Today we are going to add some animation for our player. So let's open our player object and we're going to add here animation for the player. And also we need to import a few assets. So right now I have, oh, by the way, I imported it last time. So we're going to create a few animations like idle, run, and jump. Uh, so let's start by clicking here animation new first animation which we're going to create would be idle we already have the idle animation sprite on our object uh, so we just going to create track so i select my um, sprite 3d and i'm clicking on uh, creating the key under the frame click create here and first animation uh, frame is added. So I'm just, we have six frames, so I need to click it like six times. So now we have our animation, I can click play, and I need to do it uh, loop. So see our uh, player is, is moving, but our animation is too long, it should be uh, right now it's like one second, it should be 0 0.6. Let's click here 0 0.6 and let's play it one more time. So, yeah, animation is working. Next animation which we're going to create, that's running animation. So let's click create, animation, new animation, run. Uh, right now our player do not have this animation. Uh, like sprite added so i'm going to click here add track select property track here in the list i'm selecting sprite 2d clicking ok and i have this very long window okay where i can uh, change uh, like select attribute and i'm interested in the texture because i want to uh, change the texture so i'm clicking here and i'm clicking here right mouse and insert key now I'm selecting this key and here we have our idle uh, animation. I'm going to drag their run animation. So let's open to see how many uh, frames do we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So we have nine frames. So uh, next track, uh, which I'm going to add, say property track sprite 2d again let me make this smaller i need to select property h frames because uh, our sprite animation here has only six frames but our existing like run animation has more it was nine if i remember correctly so i'm selecting here in h frames insert key and i'm changing value i think that was that was nine okay and now well, let's verify it's really was nine three three oh, it was eight right three three eight so i put wrong value here so here should be eight okay so now we have eight and uh finally we can just simply go to the player make sure here uh, we have zero frames, so reset. And as usually, I'm going to click here to create a key for frames. So we have, it's asking me to create, create, and let's, sorry, I click wrong. Let's create eight times. Okay, so uh, let's enable the loop and animation is 0 0.7 and let's play it so you see our our player is is moving let's play it one more time okay and finally we need jump animation there is a jump animation provided like with multiple frames but we are going to use just one frame for it so as previously i'm going to select sprite 2d because we're going to use we need to change the texture 
uh, I also need another track because uh, frame has different, like texture has different amount of frames. So I'm going to add here each frames. And now let's insert the key. Insert key here. Insert key here. Let's find the jump animation. Let's select this key. And let's drag it. So how much frames do we have here? See, there is a lot of frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine frames. So change, change this to the nine. And uh, as I said, we are going to use just one frame. So this running animation. Um, let's find which would work. I would select something like one, two, three. Let's select frame three. So I'm going to uh, go to the sprite, select frame number three, and let's make sure it moved not to the end of animation, but to the beginning. And I'm just going to create this one track, something like this, and animation duration is 0 0.1. Okay, now we have created our animations and we need to update the code to play those animations. We're going to create new function, which will be called play animation and as input we are going to provide input axis because we want to know in which direction our player is moving and also we need access to animation player so i can just drag it here and we need uh, access to the sprite because we would need to rotate a sprite based on um, direction. Okay, so let's now we need condition because we need to understand if our player is moving or not. So if our input x is not equal to the zero, that means that we are providing some input and player is moving. So now I can use animation player and there is the function called play and i need to provide the name i'm going to provide run and also depend on uh axis we need to uh, change in which direction we are moving but first let's create idle animation would be animation player dot play dot idle and we need to create uh, based uh, like so we need to execute sprite 2d has the func uh, has property flip h so we need to set like true or false depends if uh, we need to flip sprite or not and uh, to do this we going to assign this to our input axis equal equal to minus one so when this value is equal to the minus one condition will be true otherwise it will be false so this is how we're going to uh, like identify if rotation is required or not so now let me start the game and let's see if it will work no it is not because i forgot to add uh, play animation to our main function like physics process and I forgot to provide input so input axis like this now let's close the game and let's start it one more time so and something weird happening or you see our idle animation is not playing but playing the jump and uh, uh like wrong animation is is played because i see on the run animation let's check what is it right let's start game one more time 
make sure everything is safe. So I'm not sure. Looks like it's so here is the run animation. And here I'm not sure what's happening exactly. So let's check. It looks like for idle we have the wrong animation. So because most likely we I created property tracks, so that means for idle I also need to define um, like which animation we are using uh, in the same way as we did for all the previous. So right now I'm going to for idle I'm going to delete. Let's add the same tracks as we did previously, the texture and age frames. Now let's create for texture let's insert key for edge edge frame let's insert key come on insert key and for texture let's drag idle animation and i forgot how many six for edge frames let's set it to the six uh what so i changed something wrong let's click uh what's this happening let's delete it and add one more time insert key okay and value six now i can add the frame so i can go to the sprite i can reset and let's move it to the beginning and let's add six okay six is here now idle animation should work let's restart the game so yeah idle animation is here when we are moving player is rotating and idle animation is playing but no jump animation yet let's add it so let's open the script and inside of our play animation a separate condition but make sure it's uh, in the end because we want uh, like to stop any animation when we are jumping but we also need to check is if we are on floor so if we are not on floor i can call animation player dot play and we have the jump animation let's save let's start so yeah looks like jump animation is playing we may need to change um, the frame which we're using but it should be like right now it looks good and also let's modify a bit our jump functionality and let's add camera to the our player so for our player i'm going to add camera 2d i'm not sure if right now right now some changes would be yeah so you see uh we see that camera is following the player but also i want to change how the jump works so right now i can click space and it's like jump on the full height i want to have ability to jump like when i release the space it will like make smaller jump so let's add it so we have our jump function somewhere here so we need another uh here uh condition so let's first define sorry like this so let's check first if is on floor so is on floor and remove it from here so i'm going to move everything like this so we're checking first if it's on floor and then we're checking if uh, action just pressed then i can add here else condition so which will be when we are not on the floor and what i'm going to do i'm going also to check for input but i'm going to check if action just released and i use the same ui accept here i uh, may need to uh, change the condition but what i want to do is to change the velocity to not the jump force and but jump force divided by two okay so we have some error what's going on 
uh, oh, I, I have light and what's wrong here? And it should be. Oh, I forgot to add if that was happening. So I want to check if it's released and let's start the game. So how it works? So I can. So I can do. Uh, like I can press space and keep it, right? But looks like uh, it's allow us to do. Uh, you see, I can I can jump multiple times, so we may need we would need to tune condition a bit. But I can click space and release, and it will jump. So what do we need to do? We need to modify the condition. So let's add here. So we're going to check velocity y. If it's less that our jump force jump force divided by two and let's start to see if it's resolved our issue yeah so i no longer can do multiple jumps but i can uh, like do shorter jumps yeah, so this condition allow us to check where we are located right now in in the jumping so if we like did jump uh, less than half of possible our jump uh, so it will allow us like to uh, to stop and make sure the jump so that's all what i wanted to show you today uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day